So feeling for arteries is a really, as I've already said, a great way of, of actually turning your anatomical knowledge into reality. Superficial temple artery then has anastomoses in most people. Um, and this is where the low viscosity problem, the two cases of blindness that I'm aware of from temple injections were both very low viscosity products, which makes sense because they've got to go through these anastomoses. I think if you're using Voluma or something thicker, that's more likely it's just going to stuck, get stuck and you'll have a temple occlusion, which you know we can all deal with that with a few vials of hyalase. So um, this, the, the very low viscosity products flow through these vessels much more easily and then can flow into the eye. You've got the supraorbital artery, which also s may will have some anastomosis, but is a smaller vessel normally. And then branching off from underneath the zygoma, you have the maxillary artery, sorry, the transverse facial artery, and the infraorbital artery that you can often feel a little notch for here. So medial to the mid-pupillary line, throwing vessels downwards. Uh, we have the submental artery that flows usually just underneath. It's like in nature, the arteries tend to be hidden where possible. If it's a vulnerable spot, you'll find the artery normally goes to a place where if you were to be injured, it's less likely to be cut. 